It wasn't strange that South African cartoonist Zapiro called into a radio talk show to express his view. But it was unusual that he was allowed to interrupt an interview with South Africa's possible future president, Jacob Zuma, to defend defamation charges filed by Zuma against him. I am doing exactly what, what uh, journalists and what cartoonists and what satirists do in, in democratic societies, and I would like to see Mr. Zuma show, uh, Mr. Zuma, I'm speaking to you really, I really would like to see you show the kind of commitment to freedom of expression. You are invading my own dignity. Mr. And you can't be right. You may have your own understanding, and I'll take you. I'm, that's why I'm taking you on. Zuma is suing Zapiro for a cartoon published in the Sunday Times newspaper in September. The cartoon depicts Mr. Zuma preparing to rape a woman who represents the justice system. It appeared as Mr. Zuma faced a corruption trial in which he was later acquitted. In 2006, the then deputy president of the ruling ANC was also tried and acquitted on rape charges. The suit for damages to Zuma's reputation and dignity amounts to $700,000. It is the 14th piece of litigation Mr. Zuma has brought against the media since his rape trial in 2006. That Jacob Zuma is being quite so litigious against the media has led some to question his commitment to a free press. If we look at the bigger picture, um, it's the statement Zuma has made about, uh, uh, about the media, about cartoonists, etc. It's statements he and others in the ANC have made about the judiciary. It's uh, um, the ANC's resolution that it took at its last conference um, around creating a media tribunal where the media would be kind of judged. And it's the, the attempts by various sections within the, the ANC to control the public broadcaster. When we put all of this together, there's a kind of pattern emerging. Well, this is the latest offering by the cartoonist Zapiro in the South African Mail and Guardian newspaper. The cartoon refers to a recent incident in Baghdad in which an Iraqi journalist threw a shoe at the American president. Well, the Iraqi journalist in question attempted to exercise his freedom of expression and probably went too far. If and when the cartoonist Zapiro and a host of other media outlets here in South Africa get their day in court, it may well be seen as a test of the boundaries of freedom of expression in this country under a possible future Jacob Zuma presidency. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.